Right, welcome to Africa Social TV. My name is Dennis the Business. Click subscribe as we give you the updates on the go as regards entertainment. However, much the FIFA is all about World Cup, but mostly the entertainment business as regards music is still bonding and still going on. Now, the feud between uh, Kiss Daniel and his former, his former label that is G Worldwide Entertainment is not yet done. Now, guess what? You all know that uh, Kiss Daniel changed his name to Keys. Daniel and he claimed to have left the G Worldwide Entertainment and made his own label that is the Flyboy Inc. Now, the fact is, uh, this is not yet over as I uh, one kiss Daniel right there is still feuding with uh, Worldwide G Worldwide Entertainment. Now, after a heated uh, social media war with uh, G Worldwide over his contractual agreement, the singer obviously started his own label that was a uh, Flyboy Inc. or that is Flyboy Inc. Now, what happens is uh, 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 G Worldwide, I beg your pardon, is not uh, obviously conversant with what uh, Kiss Daniel did. But in reaction uh, just uh, on uh, Friday, or that is uh, just earlier today, G Worldwide Entertainment informed the public that its case of uh, Daniel and Igube before the Federal High Court uh, Lagos Division is still going on, insisting that even the new name uh, that Kiss Daniel owns, or oh, call it uh, Keys Daniel, call it Keys Daniel, he still oh, belongs to the label regardless of the change in the name. Now, a statement the company issued read following several requests and inquiries by Nigerian and foreign online media and entertainment outfits. Now, about the status of the matter, it has become needful to be or to notify the public of the current state of facts. Now, this is what they quoted. These guys uh, of the G Worldwide say the suit at the Federal High Court last came up in uh, on 16th May 2018, whereupon uh, they said that their lawyers informed the judge of the pending application for the status quo to further restrain the rebellious act of the artist. They continue to say that the judge emphatically told the Keith Daniel lawyers to explore a settlement of the dispute as he does not believe the matter is one which should go to trial. Ho! Oh. It is obviously bad news uh, for a one case, Daniel. Now, they continue to say that it is also interesting to inform the public that the court was informed about the artist's release of the new song titled Four Days. And for you, a collaborated, uh, they, they collaborated with uh, one artist, Balogun, aka Whiskey, which are songs or which forms the subject matter of the suit of the federal high court. They say that they therefore need to let the public know that these releases demonstrate that the artist is on a trip to put the credibility of other artists whom he collaborates with in question. Now, going further, it should be noted that uh, uh, Kiss Daniel, Kiss Daniel, as you see him there, he looks a little bit humble, but one thing for sure is that he changed all the digital platforms. He changed all the digital platforms from Kiss Daniel to Keys Daniel as as a matter of fact uh, to fight his former label because he has made his own. Now one thing with Nigerian artists on Nigerian le uh, record labels are very serious. They even own your stage name uh, regardless of the percentage that they do give you. They own your album. Uh, all the songs on, the, on that album belong to them. So you have no right to go out there and uh, trade anything without uh, any, any formation of theirs. So there has to be either an assistant, you have to inform, uh, you have to inform uh, your, your, your boss about it, of course. Now, this seems like uh, the next court case will be uh, this very month, that is June uh, 26th. But just know the feud between G Worldwide Entertainment and the now Flyboy Inc., that is uh, G Worldwide Entertainment versus Kiss Daniel, it's not yet over. But one thing for sure, we have to pray for him. One thing for sure is obviously click subscribe as I return to give you more gist of the entertainment factors around Africa. I'm Dennis the Business.